Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to build these portable set of cornhole boards with built-in app-controlled LED lights. Alright, so I already measured out my cuts. Now I just need to be 48 inches. We got our helper here. She's gonna have to stand back though. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, I already pre measured uh, 24 inches and marked them. I wanna um, subtract another inch and an eighth for the saw blade and put a, a guide. Let's check it. 24. 48. Perfect. I did it this way. I bought, I bought a full sheet of plywood instead of uh, the 24 by 48 sheets at Lowe's or Home Depot. Just because uh, those 24 by 48s are like $24 a piece and a full sheet is this one was 56 with three quarter inch plywood $56 but this one had some damage back on this side I don't know if you can see that or not down here so they gave me 50% off so I only paid $28 for a full sheet and that's why I'm cutting them down we need two 22 and a half inch pieces. Got our two 48 inch pieces, or two 22 and a half inch pieces. Now we need two pieces, 46 and a quarter. Now we need two pieces at 20 and three quarter. Look at that, they're perfect. start pre-drilling our pocket holes. If you have a Craig jig or a pocket hole jig, uh, go ahead and use that. I just personally made this one myself and I pre-marked out my spots on where I want the pocket holes to go. Yeah. If you guys want to see how I made this uh, pocket hole jig, um, post comments. Let me know. I'll, I'll post a video of it. It's simple, it's easy, cheap, and it works. I want to make this portable, so what I'm doing is I'm making one box fit inside the outer box. That way, when we put them all together, kind of like a briefcase. Perfect. All right, finally, pocket holes are all done. So we are gonna start sanding these and then we'll put them, screw them all together. So this is how I'm laying it out with the sideboards and how I'm gonna attach them. As you can see, this is loose. Um, I told you that I wanted one to fit inside the other so I, I leveled all my edges all the 4x4s to my decking on all the outside edges and I clamped them so that I got that where you know uh, where it's going to be on this board to encase over this one but for now we're going to drill the pocket holes into uh, the inner square and get that um, all together and straight and then we'll um, start drilling them down to the decking and then we'll um, attach these outside boards onto this decking and that way um, they close together and it's a lot thinner and more portable. So let's get to it. 
and I'm just using uh, inch and a quarter pocket hole screws. checking for is just to make sure this outside hoop can slide freely in and out of the inside. That's it. Okay, now that I know the, the placement of this inside rail, I'm just going to mark some lines because I'm going to take it all back apart and I'm going to glue it and screw it. So it'll be a lot stronger. Now I can take it all back apart and know right where it goes. Now that we got that done, I'm going to use an ink roller and some tight bond 2 wood glue. Now with the frames back together, we're going to glue the whole bottom of it and then we'll flip it and glue it down. This might be a little overkill for just a cornhole set, but I just want to make sure it's done right and it's going to last a long time. This isn't a... a a project for myself. This is a, a gift for someone. So I want it to be nice. Now that we got our lines, I can put it right where it needs to go. I'm just going to take a rag and wipe off this excess glue. And let's move on to the next one. I'm just putting all these corner clamps on and everything to keep it all the boards nice and level and square. And, and make sure they don't move from the, the base while I'm screwing. Put some screws down into the deck. All right, now we are gonna glue up the side rails on the on the second one. The We're gonna let that dry for 30 minutes and we'll start wrapping. Okay, while the glue's drying on this one, we are gonna start routering this one. I'm using a uh, just a 45 degree router bit and we'll see if that makes it easier for them to fit into each other. Let's get started. pretty good. I'm going to give it a sand. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's a pretty nice 45 angle on it. Now we'll sand it and make it a little bit smoother 
and hopefully it'll slide in a little easier. Now I'm going to sand down these sides a little bit. Alright, I rounded over the edges too just to try to get a looser fit in there so it's not so tight. But we'll see. It's been 30 minutes and we're going to round her the outside on the inside of the frame. looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now we are going to start doing the layout for the uh, LED lighting and for our, our, our the hole. The hole. So the measurements are nine inches down from the top. And 12 inches from either side. And then our lights are going to uh, go around the hole and then come down in a V-shape. And these are going to be 7 and an eighth from the bottom. And 1 inch in. I set my compass at 3 inches so we can make a 6 inch hole. inches. Okay, now I'm going to measure the center of the bottom, which is 12 inches from the side. Mark at 11 inches and at 13 inches. And those are going to be where my LED, the V, is going to be. I'm going to start by drilling an 8 inch in the center. Alright, now I'm going to use my router to, uh, to router out the circle. I made this little jig uh, just so I can put a screw in and rotate the circle. I'm using a, a half inch router bit. Now that we have everything routed out, I'm going to sand it with the orbital sander with some 150 grit. Let's get started. Alright, so now we're going to sand down the sides with some 80 grit and round these corners, make it nice. Let's get started. Now we are going to get started on um, building the legs for the cornhole set. <clears throat> We're going to cut four 12 inch sections out of this 1x4. Alright, now we need four 3 inch pieces of the 1x4. Now we're going to um, drill the hole through our leg. We're going to measure 
uh, an inch and three quarter from either side. And we were going to come down an inch and a half. And I'm just going to cut the arc, the radiuses with my miter saw. Like that. And I'll hit it with the sander and smooth it out and make it nicer. But for now, that's what it looks like. There it is. Now we're gonna do the rest of them. Now I'm gonna rip uh, 3 sixteenths off of one side of each of these legs, just so they clear the cabinet. So after we drilled our, our holes, um, I took I, I drilled holes in the three inch blocks that we cut already to it at seven eighths of an inch. So I drilled those, both of them. And we're gonna put these together like that. I cut this little piece. It's a half inch. Um, it's just a regular width of of what the 1x4 comes is in a half inch and I'm gonna clamp it in the back here I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna clamp it in back like that and then we're gonna drill it and screw it all together and I'm just gonna put a couple of two inch wood screws Now, if the holes are all drilled through it, we're gonna glue it and screw it all back together. Just like that. Let's get the little two screws in. I'm gonna put this clamp on just so I don't split the wood. I'm just gonna leave it clamped up and we'll let it dry. Now we're gonna use a, a quarter inch bit and drill the holes for where our legs are going to attach on. Make sure that you're at the top of the, the board. I know this is the top because this is where I routed out my circle on the other side. Since I don't know what angle it is that it needs to be cut at, this is how I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to get a string line. I'm going to run it from that edge since that edge is going to be touching the ground. I measured up already 12 inches from the bottom here, 12 inches to mark the line. And that should be our angle. And now let's cut these angles. I found some bolts with some flat heads on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and Get those in and recess them into the wood. I'm gonna add a bigger washer onto the back uh, over here just to help it sink even more without pulling it in too deep on the side. Like that. And I'll leave that other washer recessed into the wood. This is how it looks on this other side with it. It fits perfect. Now we're going to drill pocket holes into our leg mount mounting brackets. I already, I already drilled the pocket holes on this side. Alright, there we go. These are going to get screwed to the underside of the decking with the pocket hole screws, inch and a quarter pocket hole screws. I already got this one installed. So that's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I glue it and screw it down to the deck. I'm going to sand it 
Um, I'm going to sand round off all these corners just a little bit and sand it smooth before before we mount it. All right, that's it. I just rounded it over just a little bit. I'm mounting it an inch and a half off of the side and three inches off the top. And that should clear our, our cabinet that's coming in into this pocket. Now I'm gonna drill in the pocket hole screws um, through the decking just to make that pilot hole and then I'll take it back apart and glue it all up and then screw it all back together. Let's put some glue on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I, I marked a line before I pulled it out <clears throat> at my uh, inch and a half, you know, measurement. And then I put this piece of tape at three inches to this edge here. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on our mount. And that way we know right where to set it. Now we're just going to wipe up the excess glue. Pull up our tape. And there it is. Looks pretty good. We'll let that dry for 30 minutes. And while that's drying, I'm just going to sand down the sides of this, the, the legs, and I'm just going to round the corners just a little bit and smooth out this radius. All right, now let's install our legs. Thanks for watching the first part of the portable cornhole build. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you continue to the next video. I'll post a link for the next video right here. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.